So you've seen the videos. Big burly men put on in chroma glasses for the first time, break down in tears, melt your heart, and for just a brief moment, remind you that the world isn't all global warming, politics, and anti-vaxxers. The comments on these videos are brimming with people who are inspired by this anonymous internet emotion, and at least inspired enough to drop an emoji anyway. But what's common about 99% of these comments is none of them really seem to understand exactly how the glasses work. They, they just see the tears and therefore assume that like <laughs> they must work, right? Because on one hand, you can find thousands of people who claim from firsthand experience that the glasses have changed their lives. But on the other hand, you can find an increasingly souring online sentiment towards the Enchroma glasses kindled at least in part to a 2018 paper out of the University of Granada that debunked the Enchroma glasses, proving that they don't work, or a little bit more specifically, neither improve results in the diagnosis tests nor allow the observers with CVD to have a more normal color vision. So are those thousands of personal endorsements just some coordinated astroturfing conspiracy in order to prop up the profits of a company who sells $300 pieces of plastic? Damn, that would have been a sweet topic for a video, but sadly, it just comes down to people pushing completely different meanings behind their question, do they work? So today on Chromophobe, I'm going to offer a half a dozen different interpretations of this question, do they work, that I've seen from people online. And surprise, the answer is never the same. I want to point out before we continue that this video is not sponsored. However, I did share the rough draft of this script with an Enchroma executive in order to give them an opportunity to refute any of the specific points that I'm making. Where they have objected to one of my statements, I will put a number up here just like this that will take you to a footnote in the description where I have paraphrased what their objection is. So, do they work? Well, let's start with interpretation number one and the one that infuriates the most people specifically, will they give you normal color vision? Definitely not. And Chroma is quick to point out that they have not developed a cure for any kind of colorblindness. Of course, no popular maker of color corrective glasses claims this, with the obvious exception of the AliExpress scam of the week. Though some will use cure in quotations, kind of like, uh, hey baby, yeah, the doctor totally said that my herpes is cured, which I think you'll agree is an inherently untrustworthy word to put into quotation marks. None of these glasses can be considered a cure because they are not even close to giving you vision that could look like a color normals vision. They don't make you see full color or true color or correct color. And just as an aside, full, true or correct color don't actually e exist because there is no perfect color. There's just normal color, which I've discussed ad nauseum uh, in my video about dogs color vision. Regardless, when Enchroma tells you that their glasses are not gonna give you normal color vision, they also remind you that it's not just about seeing colors, it's about seeing the world, you know? And to their credit, Enchroma is very careful, at least recently, about never inferring that their glasses could be considered as a cure, rather making statements such as bringing colorful possibilities and contributing to the human experience and maximizing color impact. But these cliches don't communicate anything, much less how or whether the, the glasses work. And just because they don't make you see like a normal color vision person doesn't mean that they don't work. I mean, they, they could have other effects. And so that pushes us to interpretation number two. Will the glasses help you see color for the first time? Which is definitely not. Despite their original slogan, color for the colorblind and other taglines such as making color possible, hiding behind some useful ambiguity, these glasses will never make anyone see color for the first time. So if you're colorblind or if like you've seen one of my videos before, then you should know that 99% of colorblind people do not see in black and white or grayscale. We see some form of color, we just have a smaller color gamut area than most people do. The 0.1% of the colorblind, the, the monochromats you see in grayscale, will receive zero effect from the glasses. It is beyond impossible. All they will experience is a slight dimming of their vision. No glasses are ever going to make them able to, to see color. Hell, my type of color blindness, dichromacy, an intermediate between monochromacy and trichromacy, is mild enough that some people go their entire life without realizing that they perceive colors in a way different than the normal population, and yet it is still too severe to receive any effect from wearing the glasses. The only colorblind people that the glasses will work on are the anomalous trichromats, the mildest of color vision deficiencies. 
And as you can see from this simulation of Deuteronomy, that they already see loads of colors. And contrary to what the simulation shows you, which is a bit unideal, they actually see vibrant colors as well. So the glasses definitely aren't making you see color in general for the first time. But hey, I know you want to get into semantics now because Enchroma did. So let's look at interpretation number three of will the glasses help you see a color for the first time? Probably not. So you may by chance see a shade of color that you've never seen before, but in the same sense that walking into a Bogota fruit market and picking up an exotic fruit that you've never seen could show you a color that you've just never experienced before. But you won't see a color that you weren't capable of perceiving before. And if it seems like it's a new color to you, it is probably just a color that you've never seen specifically in that environment, such as you see it in nature when you've only seen it on a computer display. However, this argument's only going to really make sense once I can get into the technicalities of how Enchromas work, which I'm going to leave for a different video. So let's move on to interpretation number four of do they work, which is will they help you get your dream job? Mostly no. There are several jobs from police, military, astronaut that require applicants to pass a colorblindness exam. This even includes air traffic controllers. And if you are an aspiring air traffic controller, Good for you for having unique goals, but maybe develop a contingency plan because when you walk in to take your colorblind test, they're going to make sure you take your enchroma glasses off. And if you think, hell, I'll just get contacts. They can't make me take those out. Well, color corrective contacts don't really exist yet in any useful form. So maybe find a different way to flaunt your knowledge of the NATO phonetic alphabet. Of course, there are several other jobs, such as an uh, electrician or chemist, that rely heavily on color and yet don't screen colorblind applicants. In this case, while the glasses won't help you get the job per se, they may make the job easier to perform. But hypothetically, let's say that you are some unscrupulous individual who is okay with bribing the medical examiner to let you wear your enchroma glasses during the Ishihara test. Well, uh, in that case, let's move on to interpretation number five of Do They Work? which is, will they help you pass a colorblind test? Mostly no. When it comes to common screening tests like the Ishihara or the D15, Enchroma glasses will not help to significantly increase your scores and will not give you a better chance of passing those tests. And this is stated explicitly on the Enchroma website. Strangely though, it's not hard to cheat on a colorblind test as long as someone's not there to catch you. There are several simpler ways to do so, including using different kinds of glasses. For example, when I take the Enchroma colorblind test through my phone, yet I look through a 25 cent magenta light filter, I can actually improve my test score from being a strong protan to being a mild protan. Does that mean that this 25 cent filter can improve my color vision? Of course not. It simply makes the green darker compared to the red. So, Instead of using hue to differentiate between the two colors, I can use the contrast and luminance between the two colors to see the number on that plate. This works because the relative brightness between the red and the green or any other confusion pair within an Ishihara plate is tuned to the specific type of color blindness that it is trying to detect. You throw any of a number of filters in front of an Ishihara test and it's going to screw it up. This filter is a super blunt instrument in being able to pass a test but it is never going to be able to make you see better color. Well, if enchromas don't even help you pass the test, then we should definitely expect them to help improve your color vision in a different way, right? So let's move on to interpretation number six. Will they help you drive? Yeah, maybe. Dutans have reported to be able to better differentiate between the red, yellow, and green signal lights and protans who typically see the green traffic light as more white since it lies near our neutral point have said that it starts to actually look like actual green. However, if you've seen my video on driving, then you will recall that the biggest problem for ProTan drivers is actually that we see reds in general as dimmer, which includes brake lights. And that dimmer brake light perception uh, means that we have a slower reaction time to seeing brake lights, which you can understand would be a problem, and a problem that the Enchroma glasses don't really help with. So ProTans, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to continue to not tailgate. Chroma also urges caution when driving with the glasses on because all of the vibrant objects on the side of the road may cause you to veer off the street like a bull charging a matador's cape, which is completely untrue, but I left it in here because it's hilarious to imagine. Tragically hilarious. So this brings us to interpretation number seven, probably the most important interpretation, 
Will they help you see the world is more colorful? Yes. Yes-ish. Yes-ish. Yes? Mostly yes-ish. If you hear the raw testimonials, the most common claim is that the glasses help certain colors pop, which essentially means that it increases the saturation of those colors. And if I had to demonstrate how this might look on a field of tulips, it would probably come out to something more like this. But explaining this in any more detail is really opening up a whole other technical can of worms, which we will have to bring together everything we have learned in this channel so far when I talk about how the enchromas work in the sequel to this video. Anyway, seeing some colors as more saturated or more vibrant definitely fits in with the interpretation of will the glasses help me see the world as, as more colorful. So if that's what you expect the glasses to do, then you probably won't be disappointed two thirds of the time. Which brings me to the next interpretation, 7a, will the glasses help you see the world as more colorful? Yeah, maybe, as I stated earlier in this video, whether the glasses work or not is always dependent on the type of color blindness that you have. And every time I've answered a question or an interpretation in this video, I have assumed that you would have some kind of color blindness that is responsive to the glasses. So in reality, only about two thirds of people can have an effect from the enchroma glasses. The other one third will receive no effect. And this one third is rather well defined, it includes primarily the dichromats, which would be people with protonopia and deuteranopia. However, enchroma's interesting strategy, despite this being pretty well defined, is to bury this information. Now, enchroma is definitely upfront with the glasses not working with everybody. Uh, in so much that they actually have a 60 day money back guarantee that according to people in the community uh, is quite hassle free. However, they are not upfront about telling dichromats that the glasses cannot work for them. Rather, they treat the distinction very imprecisely so that when someone thinks, oh, well, they work for me and Chroma tells you, eh, you win some, you lose some, eh. Hey. And I can't really blame them. I mean, it's pretty much impossible when you are taking a test on your device online to differentiate between a dichromat and a strong anomalous trichromat. However, a test result of strong protan or strong dutan is an umbrella term that includes both the strong anomalous trichromacy and the dichromacy. So that if you do get a result back from your test that is a strong version of protan or dutan, then the chances are much lower that the glasses will work from you than if that result was mild or moderate. Now it's clearly in their own best self-interest to obfuscate this little piece of information. After all, they don't want to go scaring off business. They don't want people with strong CVD to think, eh, they probably won't work on me. I'm not even gonna bother trying, which as a strong protan, is pretty much exactly my sentiment. You could even call me enchromophobe. But even I recognize that my diagnosis could be wrong. I could have strong protanomaly instead of protonopia, which means that there is a non-zero chance that the glasses could have a positive effect on me. Understandably, Enchroma wants everybody to think that there is some hope for them so that they follow through with a purchase. On top of that, when people do buy them and they do work, well, having beaten the odds surely makes that first experience a much stronger one. But I'll admit, I do believe it's also in the customer's best interest because we have to remember, and Enchroma definitely knows this, that their biggest customer is not colorblind people, it is the friends and family of the color. And despite my parents being retired and therefore having loads of time to watch all of my videos and therefore know exactly what type and severity my color blindness is, you send them to enchroma.com and hit them with a bunch of criteria about dichromacy and prototonopolopotophilosopathy, it's just gonna stress them the f out. So enchroma just obfuscates these little details. They don't say who the glasses will work for. They don't say what work means and they just try and give everybody a little bit of hope that the glasses will change their life. Which brings me to the final interpretation, number eight. Will the glasses change your life? The truth is, even two individuals with identical forms of CVD, where their vision is changed by the glasses in identical ways, could come out of their try-on of chroma glasses with completely different experiences. Now, I'm not looking to delegitimize anyone's feelings, but I just imagine in general, maybe people would not have such strong reactions to trying on the enchroma glasses if they understood a little bit better about what the glasses can and can't do and are and aren't doing. Regardless, you can bet your ass that I will be looking soon into all of those notorious enchroma unboxing videos that are so pervasive on YouTube and that we all loathe so very, very much. This is Chromophobe.
Hey, honey, I, I think I'm cured.